It's a topic ripped from the headlines. Gun violence. Mass shooting sprees. A fatal accident in the home. A weapon taken from a law enforcement officer. It all comes down to this, a gun in the wrong hands. Step out the car, please, sir. But what if it could be stopped? Okay, recover the weapon. Now, did you see what happened there? The perpetrator took the gun away from the police officer, but it suddenly stopped working. Why? Because you're looking at a brand new technology that prevents guns from being used against their owners. It's out of Ireland, and it's from a company called Trigger Smart. Pat, why did you decide that you wanted to do something about gun safety? Well, as a lifelong gun owner and a father of two young children, I had a particular uh, concern in relation to gun safety. But what would make your solution different? I mean, there's gun safety, there, you know, there are like, cases that you can put your gun in, there's, there's a safety on the gun. What's different about yours? Well, our solution relies on user identification, mating the gun with an authorised user, eliminating uh, cases where people who should not have that gun uh, do not have that gun. With this vision in mind, Pat approached Georgia Tech's Joe Dowling to create a childproof smart gun that uses RFID technology, the first of its kind. So RFID or radio frequency identification, and it consists of a reader or transmitter which transmits a signal to a tag which has a unique serial number or ID on that tag. So here we have the handle of a gun with a power source, a battery inside, we integrate the reader into the handle and this goes on the handle of a firearm and unlocks the locking mechanism. Okay, but then, so what is the user using to unlock this? So the RFID tag is integrated onto a ring. Oh, nice. That's a good ring. Okay, so you're wearing this ring and it's locked, but then when you put your hand on here, it would come unlocked. We gotta try this. All right, so let's see Trigger Smart in action. Okay, then, let's load up. <clears throat> So if you take that rifle and try and fire it without the ring. All right. So this should not work because I do not have should the ring. Should not work. Confirmed. That does not work. You are wearing well, the ring. Can you give me back the rifle? Very nice. So that works. Do you mind if I give a go with the... No, of course not. The ring? Like that, eh? Like that. I feel like Hercules. Okay. There it is. Nice. That totally works. And then once I get my hand off of there, it's perfectly safe. It returns to disabled. Wow. OK, so I guess one big question is, how much is this going to cost? Uh, we expect that uh, the added cost to an existing firearm would be $150 to $200, which is 10 to 15% of the cost of a, of, a, of a gun. A small price to pay. And important people are taking notice. In the wake of the Newtown, Connecticut school shooting, the Obama administration announced their support of smart gun technology and even extended Trigger Smart an invitation to the White House. But what if the ring gets stolen? Pat decided to literally take the matter into his own hands with a subdermal RFID implant. The implant is hardly visible below the skin. The only question that remains, will the technology work? How's your thumb, Pat? It's okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so let's see if this works. Okay, this is uh, the first field test of a subdermal implanted RFID chip to operate a smart gun. That works. So there it is. You've got part of a working gun implanted in your hand. What does that mean? Well, really, what it does is it adds an extra layer of security uh, where you may have an objection to operating the system with a ring or a bracelet in case of theft or, or, or they've been stolen. Uh, that takes away that risk. You're cool enough with it that you've actually put this under your skin. But, uh, wow, I mean, for, for the everyday person, really? Uh, for the everyday person, I think it's just a personal choice. If they want to do it, if they want that extra degree of security and confidence, why not? Why not, indeed? Well, it's a game changer for sure. Thanks a lot, and I hope your hand's feeling better soon.